Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. Elliot back again with my weekly recap, breakdown, review of the latest episode of Apple TV Plus, Ted Lasso, Season 2. We're talking Episode 5, which happened to be titled Rainbow, which comes off of last week's fantastic Christmas episode. But we're now back in the thick of things. We're back to our main storylines. We have the shipping of two characters that I know a lot of you all have been waiting to see in the continuation of that storyline. We have a new coach on the coaching staff, and we have Nate getting some self-confidence. We're going to break it all down here in the spoiler review, but before we do so, make sure you all are checking me out on all my other social media accounts. If you're new to the channel, well, welcome to the community. Consider subscribing to the channel and while you all are at it, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you can get the alert from when I drop new content. If you all enjoyed this spoiler-free review of Season 2 of Tad Lasso, Episode 5, well, make sure to like and share the video. It helps out the channel a lot, but also appreciate the support. And in the comments, let's talk about this fantastic episode. Again, last week, it didn't really have all the main storylines that we've gotten so far on this season and I love the kind of one-off fantastic Christmas episode but this episode to me has a lot of good things about it and also sets the stage up for maybe some conflict in the clubhouse with the new coach that they hired but outside of those things I love the narrative that we get with Isaac I love the theme in this episode more importantly and it's just about being yourself and being confident in yourself and I really love that going through the main storyline but again Rebecca and Ted I, I didn't see it coming last year I'm just like they can just be good friends but man they have a lot of things in common but i really enjoyed this episode but let me know in the comments what you all thought about this episode five some of your highs your lows and what you hope to see in the weeks ahead but let's get into the recap as the episode opens up with a classic ted lasso speech as we know the team has a great management they have a great you know coaching staff they have great players that, that believe in one another can lean on one another but none of that is unfortunately translating to w's on the field we see that they have yet to win a game they've been tying games or losing games so we see ted talking to the team and, and a lot of the teams kind of getting upset about this and particularly isaac he's been off his game lately and we'll talk about him in this review but we see ted last so giving them the rom-communism speech in regards to how in the rom-com genre, which I love a good rom-com, but we all know by the end of the day, everything works itself out. And that's kind of what Ted is telling the team that, yes, we're not winning right now, but we got a lot of good stuff going for us. And by the time it's all said and done, everything will work itself out. And I really hope so because I really love this ball club and I want to see them start winning games sooner rather than later. But let's kind of transition to the main story, the main characters in this episode, which starting off with Rebecca, She's talking to Higgins. She's still doing her online thing. She's really hitting it off with this one fellow who she doesn't know who his name is, doesn't know who he looks like. We know who it is later in the episode, which we'll talk about. But Higgins tells her, again, the big theme about this episode was be yourself. Whether that's Rebecca, whether that's Ted, whether that's Roy, whether that's, uh, you know, Nate, that's uh, Isaac you know, I really enjoyed that narrative because it is so important. And that's why I love my daily dose of Ted Lasso. It reminds me, it, it implements things in my life. Like, hey, be yourself, you know, and it's such a good message that we should be hearing on a day-to-day -day basis that just be yourself, be confident in yourself, be confident in who you are as a person. And I really enjoyed that narrative that we get throughout the episode. But let's talk about the man who doesn't feel that confident about himself. And that is Nate, which we see in this episode, he wants to be famous as he comes to Keeley. And the reason he wants to be famous is because he's, we he wants to celebrate his parents' anniversary at a restaurant that's one of their favorite restaurants. Not a fancy restaurant, but a restaurant they have less complaints about, right, that Nate says. But he unfortunately doesn't have the confidence to tell the waitress he wants that special seat. He wants that table by the window. He just doesn't have the confidence to really tell them, I need that seat. Even though they don't have reservations, let's make it happen. He's having a hard time kind of speaking up for himself. And that's where Keely brings him into Rebecca. And she kind of gives him the whole speech of how she has her confidence, how she has to talk to the other owners of the you know, the soccer league and how she's she feels kind of little, right? She feels like a kid when she's in those rooms, but she has this self-confidence herself. She kind of steps out of her body and you know does her whole thing where she can really feel like she belongs in that room she has that confidence that she knows that she exudes when she walks into a room she tries to implement that into Nate as we kind of see him coming more assertive we, we see him inevitably take his parents to the restaurant and, and at first the waitress has them go in the back but then he goes in the restroom he takes a moment he breathes in he looks in the mirror and tells himself who he is be confident in yourself goes out and makes it happen and ultimately gets a table that he wanted for his family and we see that confidence translate to him being as a coach and something that's really interesting to me about Nate is if you guys remember in the first couple episodes 
Nate was a little bit of a jerk, right? And particularly to his ta- the towel boy replacement. He was really inserting himself in regards to he wants to step up more. He wants to do more. He wants to be involved more in the ball club, or the, I should say the clubhouse. And uh, we'll see about that negativity and that kind of narrative with a new coach taking over the spot that he maybe wanted to have, which is be more of a leader. So again, I love that Nate is having that confidence on the field as a coach, but also outside the field. But again, I'm going to see what happens with that new coach and Nate moving forward. And if Nate might want to go to another ball club where he feels more respected, that's something to keep an eye out for. But I really enjoyed what we get with the Nate character in this episode. But let's move over over, over to my man Ted and also Roy. Now, we're having Roy being approached by Ted in this episode to be a coach on a team. And immediately, Roy shoots that down. He does not want to be a part of the ball club. He doesn't want to be a part of soccer anymore, besides, obviously, what he's doing with commentating. But nonetheless, we know Ted's all about the trickery, right? He works his Jedi mind tricks, Obi-Wan Kenobi, like, oh, okay, you don't want to be a coach. But we see that he tells him that Isaac, the, the team captain, has been struggling lately, and he wants him to help him out. And just knowing that if he's going to help that player out, he's going to probably get that confidence, like, maybe I can help more players and get back into my mojo of getting close to the game, because we know Roy Kent loves the game of soccer. But we see that whole storyline play out as Roy takes him, uh, Isaac, and Ted to his home, his childhood soccer field, and they play a game of soccer and he gets his mojo back but that it was in that moment Roy got so much happiness in seeing him giving good advice and having this player get out of the funk that it really ultimately led him to make a decision that he made towards the end of this episode but at first after he helped uh, Isaac out, he did say no, but we'll talk about his decision by the end of this episode. But going back to a really interesting moment, and you all have been saying it since day one of these reviews that you saw Rebecca and Ted Lasso being a thing. I personally just thought they were going to be friends. I honestly thought that Ted maybe was going to have his relationship with either his wife or Sissy, but... It's starting to look like, especially after last week with the Christmas episode and them really hitting it off. But then after this episode where we see Rebecca, you know, going back and forth with that person online dating and that person is no other than Ted Lasso himself. We see him smiling and having a good time. They have a lot in common. And I think by the end of this season, and I can't believe I'm saying this, I did not think this was going to happen last year. Ted Lasso and Rebecca will be a thing by the end of the season, especially the way things are shaping up. So it's getting closer and closer to that shipping that you guys have been calling for. But nonetheless, wrapping up the episode, as we go back to Roy, who's commentating the game, and he's just watching the game, he's like, you know what? I missed the game. So we see him run into the field. He pops his knee out. Despite injuries and all that stuff, all the obstacles he had to face, he makes it back on the field. He's welcomed by uh, the crowd, you know, giving him applause. The players are happy he's there. Ted, Coach Beard's happy. The only person that wasn't happy that he decided to be Coach Kent was our boy Nate. So I think that's going to be a conflict in the coming weeks. Like Nate's like, I want it to be what you brought Roy in for. He wants to be that big dog. He wants to be that person that can speak to the players and get them, get their confidence level up, but not anymore after Coach Kent has taken over that vacancy spot. So that's going to be something interesting to keep an eye out for. But nonetheless, again, I love the theme of the episode of being yourself. I love the the self-confidence and all the messages of the film this episode had to offer. I'm really intrigued to see where this Rebecca and Ted Lasso relationship goes. I'm really intrigued to see where Nate and this whole conflict maybe between him and Coach Kent goes. And uh, again, can we win some ball games? That's what I really want to see. But nonetheless, I really enjoyed this episode. But I want to know what you all thought of this fifth episode. Your favorite moments, your least favorite moments. What do you think of all the stuff that developed in this episode? And what do you hope to see in the future episodes? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching this review. If you stuck around to this point in the video, make sure if you haven't already to like the video, share the video, Leave your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell. That way you don't miss any of my other content. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you're staying safe. And we'll see you in the next video.